swing the baby into tension and you swing it yeah, out. Yeah, out. See, the agonist muscle taking it back, the antagonist are taking it forth. But you have to relax the agonist for the antagonist to take it back. Give me an example of that. Say, like, if I, when I take my left hand and we go back, okay, now, <laughs> That's it's, a, it's, it's antagonistic or yes. intention. You see, was, you, sh you shorten the span from where we are connected below that joint here and where it's connected up here. Now, if you relax this, this muscle here is stretched. They are the antagonistic, understand? Agonist, A-G-O-N-I-S-T, antagonist. Mm -hmm. Relax that, that, that takes it back. And the time it takes for that to happen is your body time, okay? Mm-hmm, boom. Yeah. So if you, if you, like, you know, almost every major player sometimes got some major key that they work off of. And to kind of a cure-all, for you know saving a golf swing if you're tense and mm -hmm. so on and so forth would be would you rather concentrate on your hand action or your pivot well basically you can't walk without legs the they're gonna legs are gonna put your body in position that you can hit it via your hands not only does it put the legs in it puts the body in position also see a lot of people working with the shoulders i I, I turn the bottom of a glass, the top of the glass tons, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to work with the shoulders, they work you're automatically. You're talking about your torso. As long as you're making your hands go back. You see, basic, what you feel like this, you started that, but your body is, is working in a manner to keep you in balance, so it has to work synchronously with the hand, of the, hand action. Yes. Well, in a, if you had a primary and secondary action, I mean, I know we're both blending them together, but mm -hmm. each one creates a different separation of the golf club. Yeah. Do you think that you should more consciously try to think about the pivot or controlling the blade? Well, if you try to do this thinking of anything. <laughs> you, you, train, you train yourself by working a singly joint by joint to see how it works. Then you combine those things, and then you try to let it work without thinking because you start thinking, you can't say your name in the time I've hit the ball. Mm -hmm. Mike Dunaway, I've hit the ball. Look here. In golf, it's not an explosion. It's like a fission. A what? Fission. Not bam. Understand? It's like you're going to take a spaceship out of space. They don't use powder because it's explosive. They blow up the spaceship. And uh, you, know, you do that for armies. And they have to fire guns. That's, you use powder. To get out of space, you have to use fission. It starts, that pressure builds up. To escape the gravity of Earth, you have to have that space go, going 25,000 miles an hour. And they, yeah, they gauge that by the different, yeah, they got stages that they work through. First they disengage the first launching step, you see. Finally, every, each, each one of these firing stages, he drop them off until there's just a spacecraft going. Well, it's kind of like, I remember one time one of our lessons, you said that the pivot is like the initial thrust of a, a rocket going up. That creates the amount of momentum but once you get the club in the proper position, then you can unfold the elbow, release the wrist, and turn the forearms over, and that's like the boosters to get it on up to where it needs to go. Right. But see, what I'm, I'm not trying to do that so much. I'm trying to keep the blade square. You know, look at this. I'm doing a double motion here. See, if I take this hand back, I'm doing a pronation and a dorsal flex. Yeah. Now, that's mm -hmm. as far as I can bend my hand. Mm -hmm. But my hands now, look at is on the plane. See, I never lose the, my shaft and my arm. See, if I do a radial flexion, I have a vertical position of a club. And you're doing it with your left arm, now I'm gonna do it with my right arm, but if I do that, I, I see yeah. I've got to mess with two How lines. How could you hit something back in? I, 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 you, you have to do a, on a deviation to hit the ball if you do that. The, but the, but the, what you're talking about doing, we're gonna set it and yeah. then turn it. Now, if, if you took your hand back like this, 
Now this is the arc of the hand, one, one arm length below your shoulders. Now I'm making an arc, the radius from the shoulder to the hand. It's going like this, see? For that arm to go up, that's the infraspinatus, which is part of the rotor cup. But I'm doing elbow flexion, shoulder flexion. I'm doing right now, uh, with this hand, pronation. That's going through this way. Pronation and dorsal flexion. But that, that keeps the shaft in line with the humerus bone all the way through. The golf swing is this. The power is in the golf swing is this, not that. There's uh, golf swings you can hit this way, but you're not trying to make the ball go that way. You're trying to keep it down. Well, and, and I remember you telling me one time, until you learn to control this head turning around that shaft, You'll always play at golf. You'll never be able to play yes. golf. But see now, when you go this way, I'm doing the action with my arms instead of doing it with the club. Look here. Now that, that club stays on the outside of the shaft. I'm going to face you. Now look at that. Now, the way they teach it today is that. Why would you take a gun and there instead of aiming at the damn target? Look here. Look at my hand. Now, that, my shaft is in line with my arm. Now, you do this, you do that. If you do this, you got to do something. You added something, you have to subtract it, take it back, understand? So I'm like this. Now, as I get here. Now, when you fold your right elbow to be able to hold on with both hands and make the back swing, that when that right and gets in this position, that blade goes from this position to that position, and that's where it is at the top. And, and what you're talking about, by taking the golf club this way, where it works like that, yeah. a little bit under. Now, as we do that, see, now it's in the, still yeah, facing it's, it's the... same line right there. Yeah. But, you know, as you go back through the, the swing, it's like a wheel. Well, if you got it, 360 points. Your basic arm is, is in line in line with the points through which you turn through as you rotate. Understand? But, but now look at this. If I go back 90 degrees, my hand is no longer there. It is back 90 degrees. It's here. But then if I did that, I'm adding a dimension for power sake. That's all. This gives you power. But with power, you're and be able to. This is the only way that you can control the golf club and with have your the, hands. Yes, you and see. use your hands. Now you have a 360 degree circle. That club face is square. Only one 360 part of a circle. One tick. One, one little tick. thing like that. And I saw on a on one of the TV shows of the night that that club face has got to stay it in line with the target, three feet. I couldn't get on that thing. I was going to embarrass that man. I said, fella, <laughs> I said, you know what? Why don't you go to school? You know nothing about physics. But when you Another thing you don't know about physiology. And I said, you're not qualified to be a president. I got him, so I got so angry when I heard it, and I couldn't get on my training. But by doing that, yeah. that ensures that you can control when you work the club back like this, it's square, and we come up to the top. Now, when we now come look through, at it, that plate is like this now. Yeah, but now when we come back to the ball, see, now this allows the golf club, there's never any conscious turning of the golf club around the shaft. It's done from, see, we're going from, as opposed to letting it turn over, it's actually working like that. I kept this secret from six years of age and just recently. I wouldn't turn it because... I gave everybody advantage. I, I said, if you got a sucker, you don't want to let him get a low, <laughs> get off that hook. Boom. But, but it, it's almost exactly opposite of what people look at yes. and what they actually try to do. Right. See, basically what you feel when you hit a ball is the reaction, not the action.